DJ with a laptop. We're going to first do a PC, and probably in the second video we're going to do a Mac so everybody can see how it works. It's really simple. We're going to start off as basic as possible and then we'll get a little bit fancier with controllers. So let's, uh, let's start. A headphone jack, which is an output, and a mic jack to your right, which is an input jack. Below that you'll see an SD card slot. To your right you'll see two USB slots. To the right of that you'll see a, a firewire slot. So today we're going to take the first, first way to get audio from the laptop to a mixer is with a 1 8 inch jack. I'm going to plug it into the headphone. You can see that's what that looks like. On the other end, we want to get to the back of the mixer. We're going to select CD on the mixer instead of the phono or the line, which is for your record player. And what the 1 8 inch jack does is it splits it into a left and a right. So you have your right and your left channel. And we're going to pick the CD for the red, match it to the red, and the white. And there you go. You now have plugged in your laptop to the back of your mixer. Let's zoom in on the mixer here. Your main left and right will go out to your amplifier and if you want to plug in another laptop or another uh, CD player, record player, or anything else, you have another line. That's one and two and you can switch between phone and line. Now you've seen how easy it is to plug a laptop directly into a mixer. It's a no-brainer. Anybody can do it. Um, it's like plugging in uh, any external device with a 1 8 inch jack. So the next step or the next problem that you want to correct is the quality of the audio coming out of your computer. The built-in uh, headphone jack was really never meant to play uh, high quality audio, which is what you want to do when you're playing uh, from your laptop to an external mixer. You want to try to get that quality as high as you can. Uh, so Newmark came out with uh, this is called the DJIO and if you take a look at it you can see the different turn that over you've got your output one here your output two here and you've got a left and a right left and a right so what we're going to do is take this USB device, plug it directly into the laptop so your sound will be coming through here and you can output it through here or through here. You have two channels to output it through. And what this, what this is good for for a DJ is to be able to queue up your songs. This, this will be your live song playing and you can take this and hit your cue button on your mixer and cue up your next song. You can listen to what's playing on the other channel. Whereas the other direction, there was no way to cue up, uh, cue up your songs. So this corrects the problem of splitting up your channels. Uh, on the other side, what they did was they actually took a headphone here, so you can plug in your headphones, cue, and then they actually put a mic so you can plug in a mic and talk out to the rest of the crowd then they have a mic volume here now it doesn't require a power but it, it they do did put one in there I highly recommend using this power device uh, if your laptop goes into sleep mode or it tries to shut off the first thing it shuts off is your USB power which shuts, shuts off your sound I've seen this happen so I would, I would suggest using this and make sure your settings on your laptop are correct so that it doesn't shut off. So let's show you how this plugs in. Everything looks like once we have all the cables plugged in. So let's review once again. You have your laptop. This is where your sound is coming from your mixing software. In the mixing software, there'll be an option to use the ASIO driver, A-S-I-O. The ASIO driver is going to split the sound into two channels. 
So if you can imagine two songs coming out of the USB port going into the back of the new mark right here. This is where your two songs are playing. And then we're going to send one song here and the other song here. And let's send it to the back of the mixer. So it'll come in one channel here, the other channel here. So now once I have those two songs playing, I can use my fader to fade to the left or fade to the right. And I can also hit my Q button to listen to the song playing, the fade over left or right. And there you see the headphones. Uh, either the mixer will handle the headphones in the front or the DJIO will handle the mixer or handle the headphones. Excuse so let's take a look at the front. Okay, this is the front of the PV mixer. You have your fader left and right. This is the, the key here, your Q channel. You can set it to the middle, channel 2, or channel 1. And we're going to take our headphones and plug them in directly to the mixer. There you go. And since we've split the signal coming out of the laptop to the left and the right, that means this song is playing here, this song is playing here. And you can now mix back and forth. Um, there's also a mic built onto here, your XLR input. And like I said, there's also a mic straight into here. So they've made it where if you want to run straight to your amp from here that you can eliminate the mixer pretty much because you've got your headphones and your mic here and your mic volume here so this is um, just a way to do it but I prefer to have the mixer so you can have a fader in between and you're not using your mouse on the laptop and we'll get into that in a later video so that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and take a look at a controller, how a controller works with the PC, and then we'll get into software later. But this is just a sample of the hardware and the wiring required to run on a PC laptop. Okay, now we have the laptop on. We have the Numark DJIO. You can see we've got power now. It's getting its power from the USB port, which is plugged into the side of the laptop. So there's no power plugged in to help it out. It relies strictly on the power of the laptop. Okay, so let's load up a song. Got a song loaded up. Hit play. You can hear the song playing, but it's playing through the mic. Um, excuse me, through the laptop uh, speakers. So we'll go ahead and hit pause. So we want to output the sound now back through here so we have to go until virtual DJ to send all its sound back through the new mark inside of the config you'll see a input output a sound card and you want to change your output to headphones and your sound card you want to select the as ASIO driver and we're going to select the Numark USB audio device and we're also going to tell uh, to send the master channel 1 and 2 and the headphones 3 and 4. Since we've only got two channels um, we'll be able to hear uh, or queue up music on one channel while the master is playing on the other channel. So 